Here are some of the strangest Florida man stories out there. Wait until you hear why one Florida man decided to drive his Ferrari into the ocean. Number 14, I meant now. Hermes Galias Gasparin, a 22-year-old unemployed Florida man, was arrested after repeatedly throwing sausages at his mom inside her kitchen. Most likely it's his mom's kitchen because come on, he doesn't have a job. So why exactly did he throw sausages at his mom? Because he was hungry. And no, she actually didn't say no after he asked her to make him food. She just told him he had to wait because she was busy. But he was that impatient. So he threw sausages at his mom until she called the police. Because apparently in Florida, that makes a lot more sense and takes a lot less energy than to cook the sausages himself. He was arrested for misdemeanor, domestic battery, and taken to county jail. Hey, do us a big favor and hit that like button if you enjoy listening to crazy Florida man stories. Number 13, Keurig Basketballs. Does this sound right to you? Florida man Andrew Lippy was arrested after he was caught stealing from Kmart for $300 in household items. What makes this really weird is that Lippy supposedly is rich because he's the owner of an $8 million private island. Lippy was arrested on a felony grand theft charge after he purchased items such as a Keurig machine, but later returned them to Kmart with a different item in the original packaging. Ah, that classic scam. Lippy, who also owns a house used during a season of MTV's Real World, bought Thompson Island off Key West for $8 million just the week before his crime spree. A loss prevention officer at Kmart told police Lippy bought a Keurig coffee machine and returned it the next day, but inside the box was a basketball. He also bought and returned a bed skirt. However, a pillowcase was inside the packaging instead. Number 12. No mas. One Florida man actually wanted to go to jail because he absolutely wanted to avoid spending time with his wife. Florida Highway Patrol pulled over and arrested 70-year-old Leonard Olson after he was found standing through his sunroof as his car was driving down the interstate. The deputy said Olson was veering from lane to lane while sometimes driving over 100 miles per hour. After state troopers finally pulled him over, Olson said that his car had a gigantic computer and was able to drive by itself. And that's why he said he took the chance to praise the Lord through the sunroof. Ah, that explains everything. Of course, that wasn't even the weird part. Olsen asked if he could just turn himself in. He said he'd rather be in jail than be treated as a servant in his own home by his wife. <sighs> Make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get the next Florida Man video in this series. And before we move on to the next entry, here's a little trivia question for you. Gatorade was invented in 1965 in which Florida city? Is it A, Gainesville, B, Tallahassee, C, Miami, or D, Jacksonville? You'll find out the answer a bit later in the video. Number 11, Arachnophobia. Florida man Eric Ortiz decided to face his fear of spiders head on by getting a Black Widow spider tattooed on his cheek. Well, that's one way to tackle a fear. Ortiz said it's a reminder for him not to be scared of spiders. He said, quote, that's why I got it, just to like make me know that that's what I fear, but not to fear it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you? Hmm. Well, Ortiz is afraid of spiders, but it doesn't seem like he's afraid of jail because when he was interviewed by a local newspaper, he was at the courthouse dealing with the felony charge of driving with a suspended license. And he also faced charges that include burglary, domestic battery, possession of Schedule 4 substance, and retail theft. Number 10, shirts versus all skins. Should you be careful when you play a pickup basketball game in Florida? Florida man Jordan Anderson was charged with indecent exposure after police found him playing basketball. Well, not just playing basketball, I'm sure you guys figured that out, but playing basketball naked at a public park. The police were called after people noticed a guy casually walking without clothes around the park. Seriously, how can someone play basketball with so many, uh, parts flying around? 
Responding officers found Anderson naked and playing basketball on the court. When they asked him what he was doing, he told them that he was just working on his game. Surprisingly, when police asked him to put his clothes back on, he did. And thank goodness for police, he was arrested fully clothed. Number 9. Easter Bunny Savior Do you remember this viral clip? Antoine McDonald is the Florida man behind the Easter Bunny outfit in the viral video of an Easter Bunny fighting a man. While McDonald was praised for his efforts to defend a woman, he is also wanted in connection for a car burglary that took place in the fall of 2018 in New Jersey. So why was he in an Easter Bunny outfit? He and his friends bought and wore the bunny suit just as a joke, and they took turns wearing it around. McDonald and his friends were bar hopping when he saw a man and woman fighting. He had intended just to break up the fight, but then the man started grabbing his leg. So McDonald began punching the man until the police came. Someone ended up filming the fight, and the video went viral. Just because people like seeing someone in a bunny suit beat up another person. What a time to be alive. Number 8. Not the typical catfish. Do you know someone that likes to impersonate law enforcement after they've had one too many? Me neither. Christian Dudley was arrested after riding his bicycle onto the front lawn of a Naples home and telling the woman who lived there he was an FBI agent. He had on a FBI hat and his bicycle had flashing red and blue lights. Dudley told the woman she needed to prove her legal status in the US. Well, the lady wasn't exactly convinced that he was an FBI agent and told him that he needed to leave her property or else she would call the police. So did he leave? Of course not. And because he didn't leave, the woman and her husband called the police. At that point, Dudley actually began to ride off on his bicycle. And of course, this story gets weirder. Before he left, he dumped several live catfish he had in his backpack on their driveway. Officers eventually arrested him after he was found riding his bike nearby. And in case you were wondering, yes, he had been drinking. Number 7. Waka Flocka Fence you guys love your best friends, right? But we bet you wouldn't do what this Florida man did. Patrick Rimp missed his friends so much, he tried to break into Indian River County Jail by driving his car through the front door and then trying to climb the fence. Unfortunately for him, he got caught on top of the fence, which had razor wire. So how did police know that he was trying to hang out with his friends? Well, he just admitted to it. He also confessed that he was in the clouds with something called Flocka, which apparently gives you the superpower of thinking you can drive through a jail's entrance. Officials estimated the damage at around 5,000 bucks. $5,000 that this Florida man isn't able to use on more Flocka in the future. Number 6. No Judging 36-year-old Kyle Thurston just wanted to ride a swan but he never thought about making the trip back. The police had to rescue him after he stole a swan boat at Lake Yola and then accidentally stranded himself in the middle of the lake. Kyle successfully made it to the fountain on the lake on the stolen swan boat. However, things went south when the swan boat drifted away. He decided his best course of action was to, was it A, call a friend, or was it B, swim across, or C, just wait until morning, or was it D, scream for help for the police so he could get arrested. If you chose D, you chose right. Florida man went with the worst decision possible. Officers who responded to the incident easily rescued him. So why did Florida man choose option D? He told police that he, uh, was hanging with Molly, if you catch our drift, and he wanted to be with the swans because, quote, they don't judge him. Yeah, clearly Molly and her friends didn't put him in his right mind. Number 5. Political Crabs Of course, when it comes to the election, the typical Florida man seemed to be against Hillary. What do you think? Vote in our quick poll. Back in 2016, with the election coming up, Brandon Morse found a surprising political message on the back of one of the crabs he caught after he went crabbing in Tampa Bay. On the underside of the crab was a message written with a sharpie pen. That message? Hillary is a lying b well you guys can figure out the rest. The only explanation is that some Florida man had been writing anti-Hillary messages on crabs 
and throwing them back into the sea. That way, someone else can catch the crabs so they'd vote for Trump. Makes sense. It's either that or the crabs have gotten really political these days. We'd wonder what they would have to say about Alabama senators right now. Number 4. Peacocking Apparently, peacocks appealed to the average Florida man. One Florida man ruffled some feathers when he decided to steal a peacock that was outside a woman's home. This took place in the Coconut Grove section of Miami and was caught on surveillance video. The footage shows a truck pulling over and a man stepping out from the vehicle. Then, out of nowhere, he starts trying to grab one of the many peacocks strutting around the property. But why? Is there a peacock resale market we don't know about? The poor peacocks ran away in terror, but eventually this bird bandit managed to capture one of them. He tucked it under his arms and escaped on foot. The rest of the flock actually chased him, but he managed to jump in his car and speed away with the peacock. A better question is why were there so many peacocks in this lady's yard? Wild peacocks have become a thing in different parts of Miami because of some homeowners who just wanted better ornaments in their yard. Number 3. Definitely a DUI A Florida man was charged with a DUI, or maybe in this case it's really a LUI, since he was using his lawnmower while intoxicated. Wait, do people actually say they're lawnmowering? Actually, don't do what we just did, which was looking it up on Urban Dictionary. This guy didn't just use his lawnmower while drunk, he plowed into a police car with it while drunk. According to the police, an officer handling another incident heard a loud noise. When the officer turned around to see what was going on, he found Gary Anderson behind the wheel of a lawnmower and near the officer's parked police car, which had minor damages to the bumper. Anderson admitted to hitting the car and told the officer at the scene to just take him to jail because he was drunk. After he failed to pass any of the sobriety tests, Anderson was arrested. Police ran a criminal background check on Anderson and found that his license had been suspended since 1978. Sounds like this guy needed some Gatorade to help clear that alcohol out his system. And that brings us to the answer of our trivia question. In which city was Gatorade invented? The answer is A, Gainesville. And to be more specific, it was invented at the University of Florida, home of the Gators. And of course, that's why it's called Gatorade. Number 2. Jesus Take the Wheel Imagine this, you have a Ferrari 360 and you decide to drive it into the ocean. Why? Because Jesus told you to. That's exactly what this Florida man did and luckily for us, the whole incident was caught on a dash cam. Seriously though, who does that? The police were wondering the same thing because Florida man James Muchacho Jr. is the type of person to drive a Ferrari off a dock. Basically, it goes like this. He parked his Ferrari 360 on a dock. A police officer approached him and told him he wasn't allowed to park there. They have what looks to be a calm conversation on surveillance cams. So Muchacho gets back into his car and starts to back up off the pier. But then, all of a sudden, he drives it into the ocean. At first, the police officer thought it was an accident, but nope, he did it on purpose. He drove it off the dock because... Well, apparently, Jesus told him to. According to Muchacho, Jesus made him the smartest man on earth, and having that big of a responsibility was just too much. Yep, makes sense in Florida. Number 1. Alligator Smells Florida man Raymond Fettig was caught with alligator parts in his car. An officer noticed a scaly alligator foot sticking out of his dashboard when he was pulled over by Wildlife Commission officers. They were checking for his day pass to the Corbett Wildlife Management Area. You would think that he would hide alligator parts better since he knew he would be stopped to have his day pass checked. But no, this is a Florida man we're talking about. Officers noticed random alligator parts scattered throughout the of his truck. That's just disgusting. Officers also noticed that there was a strong decaying odor coming from the car, which yeah, kinda hints to decaying gator parts. Fedig ended up admitting that all the gator parts were from an alligator that was allegedly obtained a few nights earlier. Watch this video to find out about some of the dumbest criminals next.